<laughs> yes. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and I mine to flex pool for 48 hours, and here are the results. Right after a word from the sponsor. Today's sponsor is BlockFi. BlockFi provides financial products for crypto investors. Products include high yield interest accounts, USD loans, and no fee trading. With BlockFi, there are no hidden fees, just a return of up to 8.6% APY that starts accruing immediately, plus compounding interest every month. Committed to trust and transparency, BlockFi services comply with comprehensive state and federal regulations, and they use Winklevoss's Gemini as their primary custodian, wrapping layers of industry-leading protection around clients' assets. To facilitate this transparency, BlockFi allows me to mention that they are centralized and there is a potential for loss. So as with any investment, do your own research. Personally, I have funded over 4,000 USD equivalent in Bitcoin to my BlockFi account and accrued additional interest on top of my mining rewards. For a limited time, you can earn crypto bonus of up to $250 when you open a new account by visiting the link in the description, blockfi.com slash son of a tech. Welcome back. So today we are basically going to be showing you guys the results of mining to flexpool.io with three giga hash for the past 48 hours. And the reason we are doing this is actually very simple. About basically three days ago, they announced the rollout of MEV or supporting MEV on the pool, which should in theory increase the minor rewards, at least for the front running portion. I think the back running portion still would require some sort of off chain deal. I'm not even sure I would support a pool doing that. I would like to actually sit down. So if somebody with uh, from Flexpool wants to sit down and talk to me about it, I'd be curious because you guys seem to be the first one, at least in English, that I can see that is attempting to do this and I'd like some more details. You can see all of this on a Reddit post that they also posted today about one hour ago, announcing full MEV launch across regions in partnership with Flashbots. So we have to clarify something. We most likely on the results of Flexpool for the past 48 hours have not been receiving this additional income depending on the region we're in because I'm not exactly sure what region they had initially put the beta in or the testing into. And that was actually three days ago that they did that and that's why we swapped over. And it doesn't appear that I was actually getting any additional rewards. Now they are doing basically flex geth MEV implementation, which filters out the unprofitable ones and adds the ones that increase profits. Flashbots is planning to move to an open alpha soon. And once they do, they should see multiple MEV bundles almost every block. So this is very exciting stuff for miners to have a potential to increase their rewards. But for now, we really don't seem to actually be seeing any increased improvement. Over the past 48 hours with three giga hash on average, we have a system offline right now because it's too, it was making this weird crickety noise on the mic earlier. So we shut that down to be honest with you guys. But you can see here that we're still pretty close to that three giga hash. And if you take a look at our rewards on the payouts tab, you can see here that since March 11th, we have done about 0.3 ETH or 0.31 ETH. So yes, that is about somewhere around the same payout that we saw on UU pool, as well as the same payouts we've been seeing on Hive on pool and Ethermine and so on. So is MEV really kind of functioning right now? No, it does sound like what, like they've stated that there is kind of an alpha thing going on. I will say that we have really good ping to the pool and we also have a pretty awesome UI here that they have set up, which I find uh, super clean. So good job on that guys. And obviously if you guys need to contact them, they have help and support when they have a Discord, a Telegram, a Twitter, and a Reddit, and all of that. So if you guys need to basically go in and speak with them, they're pretty responsive. And for a smaller pool, I think that they're one you should take a look at. So at the end of the day, we can't really say if MEV Geth is really doing anything yet because our region was probably not turned on for the past 48 hours may have pulled the trigger a little too soon on mining to them for 48 hours. We're gonna leave it on Flexpool 
A, because I support them, and B, it does seem like they are actually moving towards being able to implement this. And if we see a massive change in the block reward sizes, then we will come back and do another review of Flexpool for you guys. Now, obviously, like I've said before, it's really hard to determine which pools are better than other pools, but what we can start seeing is if the blocks on average are being basically paid out at a higher rate or if the fees are higher, and then we can start trying to see by taking a look at those blocks and the transactions on them, if the MEV is taking effect and having any sort of significant effect on the mining pool itself for the payouts to the miners. Now, I did want to clarify here, the pool donation can be changed and you can go into settings and you can set it between 0% and 100%. Currently, I have it set at 1%. That's really up to you guys. However you want to handle that, definitely feel free to change that. Finally, on pretty much my RTX 3000 series cards, as well as my RX 6000 series cards, I have moved to mining Cortex, primarily because I am getting a lot more profits off of them. There are some ways to increase your profits if you're staying up to date with crypto in general. Once again, Cortex, we will be doing the review of the project, a technical review of it tomorrow, which will be Saturday, March 13th. So hit the sub button and the notification bell if you're interested in that. I hope you found this video interesting and intriguing. It should be a pretty short one. I'd like to know your thoughts on flexpool.io as well as MEV Geth down below, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here, or of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.